Team 33's CEO Tyler Gallagher bizarrely disappeared, leaving 27 professional players, six content creators, and numerous staff unpaid for their work. Many have called the organization a scam for years, but there's conflicting evidence to suggest this is a scam in a completely different way from what everyone expected. Picture this, you're a new Fortnite organization in the scene and you need to make a name for yourself. Who are you gonna sign? Is it Booga? Is it gonna be Tayson? No, one step better than that. How about a literal eight-year-old? What could possibly go wrong given the age to enter competitions is 13? Now I'm sure the signing bonus for him was very reasonable. $50, $100, $200, how about $33,000 and a $5,000 gaming setup? Right. This made news all over esports and even reached into the public eye again an article on BBC where Team 33's CEO Tyra Gallagher explains why they signed 8-year-old Joseph. We can groom him to be a top-level player at a young age. Potentially, uh, you could have used a better word than groom and enter into major cups immediately when he turns the appropriate age, just like the $3 million cup Booga won. I hope you realize how bad crazy that is. In my eyes, there are three possible explanations for this. Number one, Team 33 have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Explanation two, Team 33 didn't actually pay out this lump sum. Or explanation three, this is a marketing stunt to get Team 33's name out there. Now, there is some proof to suggest that eight-year-old Joseph Dean was actually paid the $33,000 signing bonus. First, God damn, look at how iced up he is. Secondly, he wasn't only signing this happened to. In March of 2020, Team 33 went on to host a tournament where the winner gets signed to the organization with a $3,300 cash prize and a $5,000 gaming setup. A player called Weston won this tournament and supposedly also received a $33,000 signing bonus rather than the $3,300 advertised. So where's the proof that this was actually paid? Well, I mean, there isn't any, but Weston 100% got his PC set up based on an Instagram post showing the parts. They did make a tweet saying that the money was wired to his account. And unless there was a gun to his head making a tweet like this, it's safe to assume that he was actually paid this money and that the same happened with eight-year-old Joseph. Now, what's interesting is that as of 2022, Neither of these players are on social media at all. They basically disappeared after mid-2021, so there's not much to show for their minimum investment of $76,000, and something definitely feels wrong about these large amounts of money being dished out. Of course, that wasn't the end of their odd signings. In June of 2021, they signed 10 new players, and by the end of their year, the roster had grown to 26 players total. It became extremely difficult to avoid seeing 33 in an event at any East or any West region, just based on how many players they had. By August 2022, Team 33 had amassed 27 pro players and an academy team where players could work their way up into the pro ranks. Not only were the players good, but they had four FNCS titles under their belt. Now, if you're not aware, most organizations have like maybe four players, and Team 33 had 27 on payroll, an academy team, and content creators. Not only that, Team 33 was gifting huge amounts of money to their players via their streams in what they would call glitching. Team 33 player Turtle Tavern accounts, by this time it was November, and during this month it was literally almost every single night that you would come into my stream on the official Team 33 Twitch account and would just type, the front man has arrived, and basically give away thousands of dollars in a stream through giveaways every night. Through the month of October to November, he gave away over $50,000. He also at one point gave every single one of my Twitch mods at the time $700 each. A good amount of them were younger 13 to 7 year olds from Asia and not the nicest places and this money helped them so much, one of them coming into me months later saying it helped them save their grandma. To me, being a player as part of Team 33 doesn't really sound like a scam. And Tavern even finishes off his account by saying, in all honesty, I can't be mad at him. He did a hundred times more for me than what I signed up for. Now, I know the question you're asking. How the f*** do you profit from this? And is this org really a scam? I mean, Team 33 is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the last time I checked, businesses need to be profitable to be sustainable. Most esports have leagues that are heavily integrated with the organizations. And there's income for both based on that. But Fortnite is a bit different. In a nutshell, organizations make their money by putting their sponsors in front of lots of eyes, and those eyes are the viewers of the players. They pay players to represent their company. The players get money, and the organizations and their sponsors get promotion. This is where the story takes an interesting turn. Their website lists six sponsors. Regal Assets, Atari, House 33, Iron Monk, Frank Mueller Watches, and A-Game. Do you remember the eight-year-old's drippy watch? Well, presumably a Frank Mueller. But these two are the most interesting, House 33 and Regal Assets. 
Who do you think owns both of these companies? That's correct. Tyler Gallagher. Two of the six sponsors listed are themselves. Now, this wasn't something that Tyler was hiding. My company, uh, Regal Assets, I started with $5,000. Uh, I'm actually a high school dropout, so I, I, I turned 5000 into uh, over a billion in uh, successful sales transactions. From that incredible wealth, he of course created Team 33 out of what he says is passion. So I, I reached kind of a, a level of success for myself where uh, I was able to, you know, pursue things that I'm truly passionate about. Team 33 was, was born. From what I've heard from the players, Tanner was extremely passionate about Team 33. He treated everyone as well as he could. Like, he always surprised people with money and it was his favorite thing to do. Like, super genuine guy. And he actually cared about when people placed. He'd, get, he'd give me random calls after tournaments and just, you know, congratulate me or, or my teammate, you know. But... He was a super genuine owner, probably the best one I'll ever have. This explains the large amount of money dumped into the players and maybe the lack of care around getting a return on his investment. Or, hear me out, tax write-off. Let's be real, you don't care about tax explanations. All you need to know is that for companies, investing in another company lowers your profits, which lowers the amount of tax you pay. Now, Team 33 did partner up with Champion USA in August of 2022, a massive brand and massive success. So given credit, maybe Tyler was just picky about his sponsors. Up until September of 2022, things have been going well, but that was all about to change. The following is an event of what happened from manager Zoe's perspective as he was the person in contact with Tyler on a day-to-day -day basis. The first of every month is when Tyler, the CEO, pays all the staff, players, and creators for the previous month. Zoe and many of the pros repeatedly mentioned to me that historically these payments were always on time. The 1st of September comes and Tyler is nowhere to be found. And it isn't until the 5th of September that Zoe manages to get in contact with him. After a short meeting, Tyler apologizes, says he's been sick, and all of the staff and players were paid for their August work. A little late, but no one was really concerned yet. Things resume as normal up until the 18th of September, where yet again, Tyler would go MIA. This time for a whole two weeks. And on the 3rd of October, Zoe manages to get into a meeting with Tyler, where he explains he has a lot of personal issues and that a large investor they secured two months prior had pulled out. Since Tyler put so much money into the org, he's been demotivated and got tired of losing money and essentially wanted to end the org. He told Zoe he needed a break for a week or two to figure things out, and he hasn't heard anything since, meaning every player, creator, and staff weren't paid for their September's work. A lot of this doesn't really make any sense. Why repeatedly disappear and not communicate anything? Was the sponsor that dropped out Champion USA that they signed on two months ago, since there doesn't seem to be any public affiliation with Team 33 anywhere that I can find? Why, after sounding so passionate about the org only a few months prior, has everything suddenly changed? Why one month before the biggest tournament of the year would you just stop operations? Something that doesn't really make sense. That's where I started to dig a little bit deeper. Something about the Regal Assets being their biggest sponsor didn't click right away in my head, and I kept getting messages to check out the company's reviews for fraud. Regal Assets is an investment company that invests your money in gold and other precious metals, which later also started investing in crypto. You may be able to see where this is going. The company has been around since 2009 and had a great reputation over this time. So why is there only two Google reviews? This company is around for 13 years and there's only two Google reviews. The two that are there read, this company stole millions from people. Tyler Gallagher, Leah Denonzo, and a bunch of other people I don't care about are going to jail. The wheel of justice spins slowly, but this company is going down very fast. Then a side words, crying, laughing face. Maximum alert. Do not do business with this company. They are a gang of thieves who steal retirement funds. I will also report to the Attorney General of California and New York to the subjects, Tyler Gallagher, and yet again, a bunch of people I don't care about. You are going to have to pay for the damages you have caused to many people. The date of both of these reviews, only a month ago, around the same time that Tyler disappeared from Team 33. But if there's only two Google reviews, what happened to the reviews from the last 13 years? Have they been cleared from Google? Luckily, Google reviews aren't the only website who do these. The Better Business Bureau has many positive, even five-star reviews up until July 2022. Following a complaint, the company replied, Tyler, the owner, will be in touch to take care of this. I'll believe it when it happens. I've tried emailing him, no reply. I've called his office several times and was told to get right back to me. Never happened. I'm going to contact the FBI. Trustpilot, yet again, good reviews up until July 2022. These aren't small investments that people are putting in. One reviewer purchased $2.6 million worth of metals and never received them. When asking for the money was, 
She told us she met with Bofa Fraud and worked this out. Bofa Fraud. I know it's the Bank of America, but come on, that's a good joke. Like Bofa what? And you say Bofa these nuts? Erdai, 1,811 reviews with a 4.8 rating overall. 41 star reviews in the lifespan of the company, yet 10 of these are in the last two months. But what's really interesting is there's a tab for Google reviews, which shows 45 results. Remember, there was actually two earlier. So clearly these have been hidden off of Google. This tab has only strong five star reviews from a few years ago, but when you click to view more, it takes you to a Google page that can no longer be found. Undoubtedly, the reviews have been cleared in some way to hide something. The question you're probably asking, how does this all connect Team 33 and what is actually going on here? Uh, for legal reasons, this is just a collection of the already available information on the internet and is no way an accusation of fraud. Tyler becomes incredibly rich from company regal assets and clearly has a strong passion for gaming. He creates the esports organization Team 33 out of that passion and also because it's a great tax relief for regal assets. The players are all very happy and under the org and are treated great and many of them say Tyler went above and beyond for them and even that if he returned with the org, they would rejoin that organization. So from a player's perspective, Team 33 was not a scam. However, they did not get paid for September of 2022. All of the bad reviews start to pour in for Regal Assets around July of 2022. Unsurprisingly, this is when the crypto market also massively crashed. As an investment company, this means massive losses for them. People's savings and pensions all gone, the company would lose an incredible amount of money from bad investments. This is where many claims of people being unable to withdraw money from the website start. With many reviews saying that they're going to the FBI, it's no surprise that Tyler has just disappeared from both Regal Assets and Team 33. Many have claimed that he has fled to Dubai to hide from the police and FBI over the Regal Assets fraud case. And in a weird turn of events, Tyler has been writing articles for Authority magazine across the last two months, interviewing a large amount of people. So he's still out there, just not working with these two specific companies. There really are still a lot of unanswered questions, and I would love to interview Tyler to get to the bottom of this.